but in this video I wanted to do a little chat with Kat which I haven't done in a while about sugar alcohols we're gonna talk about what they are my experience with eating a lot of foods with sugar alcohols how my life has been cutting them out cutting down and then cutting out and just Tips that you guys can implement now to maybe get your weight loss going if you are in a plateau. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen Hart, I'm a mindset and weight loss coach. And really, I'm all about making you guys understand that your goals are all attainable, you can have them, whatever they are, they're already yours. All of my coaching opportunities are always linked down in the description box below this video. And if you guys are new here, I went from over 200 pounds down to 130 pounds, which I've been maintaining for probably over a year now, easily over a year. And it was after I had my second baby. So you guys, I am 130 pounds, five foot four. I've had two kids. My kids are now two and four, almost five and three next March. But yeah, I'm, I'm a mom of two. I'm over 35 and I'm maintaining at my goal weight, which is the same weight I was in high school. I know, right? And the crazy thing is, I did the sugar alcohol thing as a crutch for so long in my weight loss journeys, and every single time, I had the same realization that I had to cut them out of my life in order to get the results that I wanted. So I wanted to make this video for you guys to give you my take on sugar alcohols so that maybe you can jumpstart your weight loss or maybe it's just food for thought. Maybe you're including these things in your weight loss journey right now or your maintenance and you're doing fine. That's great. This is just my experience and kind of my opinion. So if you don't know what sugar alcohols are, sugar alcohols are added to keep mostly keto treats, low carb treats, and snacks and cereals and things like that to lower the carbs even more. Now sugar alcohols, they say, are not affecting your blood sugar. So therefore they don't have to be counted in the carbs. So if some, some food has 10 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, that's normally eight net carbs, right? 10 minus two. But then if something has eight sugar alcohols, they're able to put on the label that that food or that treat or that candy is zero net carbs. And what I found for me was that when I was eating these things, I was overeating them. That's just might be me, but I was overeating them, kind of abusing them because I was like, oh, there's no carbs in this. So I follow a low carb lifestyle. And when I saw these treats like the keto ice creams and then the keto candy bars and the coconut clusters, you guys know what I'm talking about, the elevation bars from Aldi, that's a very popular one, most people know about that one, um, the Adkins treats and the M&Ms and the Swedish fish that they have that are low calorie or low carb, all of these things drastically plateaued my weight loss journey, even though they were low net carbs, supposedly. So what I was finding was when I would eat these things, I would, I would eat them, and then my weight would just plateau. Even though the rest of my diet was very low carb, almost keto at that point when I was trying to lose weight, but I was digesting all of these sugar alcohols and my weight loss journey completely plateaued. So I said to myself, I can't keep going on like this. Like I, there's something's gotta give. I'm, I'm doing my diet perfectly. Why is this happening? So I looked at my overall diet and I looked at how many of these treats I was having, mostly one a day of something. A serving of ice cream here, a candy bar here, some a bag of little M&Ms from Adkins here. You know, all of these things were adding up throughout the course of the week to be a lot of sugar alcohols. And if I didn't count the sugar alcohols, it was actually a lot of carbs. So for me, I cut these things out and my weight loss drastically went down. It sparked joy back into my weight loss journey and the weight literally fell off after I cut these things out of my diet. What does that mean for you? If you're finding that your weight loss is not happening as fast as you want it to and you're digesting sugar alcohols, maybe cut back, cut down, cut out the sugar alcohol treats that you're having. Listen, that doesn't have to be cold turkey, you don't ever eat these things again. Because I realize when we're doing low carb and things like that, these keto treats, they seem really appealing. When we're trying to diet and someone tells us we can have a peanut butter cup that's low carb, like how good does that feel? It feels like, oh, I can do this long term. Take it from me to lose your weight first, cut back on the sugar alcohol treats, maybe have them instead of seven days a week, maybe have them five days a week and see how you feel, and then see if you can cut back to three days a week, and then maybe one day a week you have a treat on the weekends until you reach your weight loss goals. Once you're there, then go to town. But 
once you're there, you might not want them anymore. So now I just wanna tell you guys my experience with not having the sugar alcohols for a long time and then reintroducing them back into my experience. I recently made a cake for my husband for his birthday and it was a box cake mix that was keto and then a keto zero sugar frost or low sugar frosting and it tasted really good. If anybody needs a cake to make, this is the cake. Like if you need to make a birthday cake substitute, get this combination because it was phenomenal. It tasted like real cake. Problem was, as soon as I ate a small piece, I got a painful headache. Like I'm talking sharp pains in my head, headache. I don't ever get headaches. And I'm like, okay, these sugar alcohols, there's something to this. Back in the day when I would eat them every day, I was used to it, but not having them for months and months now, and then reintroducing them with a little bit of cake, I really felt it, guys. I really felt it. My body was like, no, we don't want this. And a couple of months ago, the same thing happened. Speaking of keto clusters from Aldi, I got them and I was like, oh, these are so good. And they are, they're amazing. They taste amazing. They don't even taste like any kind of fake sugar. You guys, painfulest headache of my life when I eat these sugar alcohols. So I don't know if I'm just overly sensitive. I don't know if it's a actual thing where I just cut them out of my life. Now I put them back in and they're just not not for me but i wanted to pass along this information to you in case this is something that's you're that you're going through this is my experience so i have since just cut out the sugar alcohol stuff and it's easy now because when i see these things the painful headache afterwards is not worth the taste for me and that's what i found on this whole lifestyle journey the things that i used to crave and want so bad you know before i even started low carb it was like oh i can't have brownies anymore now i look at a brownie and i'm like hmm Okay, like I can go without it. Same thing now with the sugar alcohols. I'm like, yeah, it's not worth it. I don't even want it. So once you start being healthy, you get the ball rolling and then you start learning about yourself and intuitively following your gut instincts on what you wanna eat and what's good for you and just what's not. So I hope this video kind of opened your eyes to sugar alcohols and maybe this is a good time to just analyze your diet, analyze what you're eating every day and see if you are plateauing or if you're just not feeling the greatest or you feel like your weight loss isn't going as fast as you want it to. Take a look at your overall diet while you're eating and drinking every day and just see if there's anything that you can clean up, cut back or cut out and just see, try it. Try it and see what happens. I love putting it like that too. You don't have to give these things up for forever. You don't even have to give them up 100%. Just cut back on things. Make your mindset be okay with it. Instead of having something seven days a week, cut it back to five. See how you feel. And then you know, well, tomorrow I can have that. I'm not gonna have this right now, but tomorrow I can have that, whatever it is. Remember guys, mindset is everything. If you want more information about my coaching, that is linked down below. I hope you guys like this one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's where I share daily what I'm doing, what I'm eating, what I'm thinking everything so definitely follow me over there if you're watching on here you'll love it over there um but i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you really soon with my next video bye everybody